So we are uh, we are in, going into week two of our regular season here at Oliver Ames Cross Country. Uh, we had a strong season opener at our home course in Borderland against Mansfield. Uh, kids have been working really hard. Uh, a lot of the cross country training that sets us up for success happens over the summer. Uh, but we're fortunate that our athletes get together, train together, work out together, uh, and they came into the season in great shape. We worked really hard over the summer. Um, we had captain's practices six days a week and a lot of girls showed up and I know same for the boys team. So we've been working really hard for the fall and definitely excited getting into the season as we already got through our first race. We have our next race tomorrow, but we're doing good so far. We look really strong. We obviously had a really strong season last year as state champions and we're hoping to do something similar and keep up that intensity. Girls are looking really strong and I'm really proud of everyone through the summer and even the past month, the amount of work that we've put in through our trips such as Nantucket and the bond on this team is something like no other. This year is going to be a good one. You know, we got a lot of promising boys out there. You know, they're sitting there getting ready to practice. Every single day we give it our all, you know what I mean? Every single meet we go out there to represent OA. You know, once that single goes on, everyone's locked in, ready to give it their all. Definitely really excited for the season because I know that a lot of the girls on our team have put in a lot of work for this. And I'm excited as my last season to give it the best that I have and get up there in the state and do the best that we can. And I think through recovery, through stretching, through everything else, not just running, that we've created this community and environment and we're really prepared and excited to see what this season brings. The boys this summer worked really hard, a lot of time put in, a lot of mileage, and we're coming off of last cross country season, a little upset after a hard loss at Hawks, but we're all coming back with a lot of revenge, a lot of motivation to win this year. Uh, it's a strong squad this year on both the boys and the girls squads. We're hoping to make a, a run at the Davenport division over the course of the season. Uh, off to a good start. Uh, both teams want to know, uh, but we're heading back to Borderland this week uh, for our second meet of the season against Foxborough. We're looking really, really strong, and I know that the path ahead is going to be really tough, but everyone's ready. You know, the girls going for another state champion, they're going to championship, they're going to be great. You know, boys team trying to get Hockamog League championship under wraps. You know what I mean? So we're, we're going to work hard, give it our all, and it's going to be a good season.